Mike, are you ready for real this time? Let's do her. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Your Cars, where we review your cars from the gallery. And we have a special guest today. We got Mike. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing excellent. How are you doing today? I'm doing just dandy. So Mike is our gallery guy, so it only made sense to bring him on reviewing your cars because he does all the gallery stuff. I look at the stuff. gallery all day, so. Yeah. Well, the good news is we got to break in, Mike. So I made okay. Jels do this. Now I'm going to have you make your best dial-up internet impression. Oh, boy. Get going. All right, here we go. Is that, is that good? Yeah, that was terrible. So oh, moving forward, we're gonna <laughs> hop right into this. If you want your car reviewed, make sure to add it to our gallery at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. That way you can get it in, we can get it reviewed, we can share it on the good old Hell Instagram, yeah. maybe on our Facebook page yeah. that we got going. Yeah, we just launched a new Facebook page, Daily Dose of Fitment. There That's it on is. Facebook, we post on there every day, so get on there. Hell yeah, so let's hop into this. We'll start at suspensionfitmentindustries.com. Hell yeah. All right, first car of the day, we have a Mark IV so my Ooh. heart's all warm and happy. We have a 2004 Volkswagen R32 on some rotiform BLQs. In the front, we have 18 by eight and a half plus 35. In the rear, 18 by nine and a half Ooh. plus 35. Interesting, an all-wheel drive setup, okay. Uh, Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 on the front, 225.40. In the rear, 255.35. Interesting setup. Very being, interesting. Uh, all-wheel drive, I don't know about yeah. all that. Um, on some good old-fashioned airlift performance air suspension. Yeah, my center differential doesn't agree with <laughs> so this is Dan Nips. Dan Nips. Dan Nips. Dan Nips. Nips. Yes, perfect. All right, let's see if we have any details. So stock camber with poly bushings. The fenders are rolled in the rear wheel spacers. Even though they're different sizes, we still got rear wheel spacer Jeez. of a quarter inch back there. On the engine, so we got some good stuff in here. We have forged pistons, uh, forged rods, super tech valves, springs, and retainers. There's a ton done here. We'll oh, have yeah. Brent put it up on the screen because this is a lot. Oh, yeah. On the tranny, we got upgraded shift forks, um, Pelican LSD, and uh, exterior, we have 25th anniversary black housing headlights, blue Hella Magic Color tails. Yes. Those are dope. Best taillights. Uh, Cupra R front lip and Vag Roots rear splitter. Vag Interior, we have double DIN touchscreen head unit, some boost gauges, AEM wideband. Let's get looking at this car. So R32s have a special place in my heart. Oh yeah. And a boosted one at it's that. It's even better. Just sings. It's, I think it's perfection. Yeah. It, it's Chewbacca, but Chewbacca that can whistle. And what, what's better than that? A whistling Chewbacca is a Chewbacca for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now do your best Chewbacca impression. No. Oh. <laughs> See, I, I can't roll my good. R's, so I oh. can't do Chewbacca. So Chewbacca is Chewbacca. Spanish. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> so the magic color taillights on here, I think, look so sick. Got a decent engine base oh, yeah. set up in there. I really think those taillights make the the whole look of the car, I, for me at least, I just, those taillights are super cool. Mm -hmm. I think they go really, really well with those rotiforms. Mm -hmm. um, and the blue just pops. I like how the valve cover and intake have been painted the same color. It definitely makes this car very, very nice. Yeah, and then even though we got a Stagard set up, I mean, the fitment is on point. Yeah, fitment's dialed very, in. very nice. Don't know about running Stagard setup on all-wheel drive. Yeah, too much. I, would, I would stray away from that if, if it were me. Definitely, so. but it's cool to see the intercooler hanging out of the front and then yeah. the intercooler piping, you know you're messing with something serious when you see that. Overall, looks like a clean example of oh, yeah, an R32. 100%. You ready to rate it? I think I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, eight Nine. and a half. I love the blue on these R32s. Um, if I were him, I'd just get rid of that door trim and I think it would be just oh, No door trim for Mike. No door trim, door trim bad. All right, hopping into the second car of the day. <laughs> we have a 2003 Lexus IS300 on MB Battles. 17s, two at that by nine and a half Little plus guys. 22. We got a square setup on this. Uh, Achilles ATR Sports, see those quite a bit. 205, 35. So a pretty decent stretch on these puppies yeah, as definitely. well. And then some Fantastic Fortunato coilovers. Oh, yeah. This is Pinoy underscore media's uh, Lexus IS300. And then for the details, um, the Fortunato 500 coilovers have the Swift spring upgrade. So that's cool that if you didn't know, you can do that. Um, 12K, 10K spring rates on those. Slight rub at full turn because why not? Uh, the fenders are pulled. And then we have a Megan Racing Y-pipe, HKS catbag exhaust. 
uh, vertex skirts, ready front lip, full custom wrap. Ooh, uh, 98 Supra. Supra motor swap. There we go. Now that's interesting. Don't forget the cold air intake. So <laughs> hopping into this thing, it's like a flat purple, like a it matte. It is, yeah, matte purple with the, uh, with the, what, what tree is that? The, it's like cherry blossom. Yeah, the cherry blossom tree. Yeah. Not sure how I feel on that. Oh. But I think it looks great overall. I like the yellow um, fog lights it's got on there. I like That's the a nice contrast. Yeah, I think it could use maybe a lip spoiler or a wing on the back. Okay. But other than that, it's a very clean build. I'm not the biggest fan of the flat paint jobs. I, I really like shiny stuff. Shiny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, I think it's a very very clean car. Yeah, I think this thing is dope. I think MB Battles fit it perfectly. Yep. They're a nice affordable wheel that looks great. Yep. Um, perfect for drifting too, stuff like that. If you don't mind uh, beating up your wheels and all that good oh, yeah. stuff. I don't know if I'm feeling the matte color anymore. I know it was like. It was more popular a few years ago, yeah, and then I've I seen agree. so much of it, and I feel like it just kind of. I, I feel like when people think about like the matte color, they think it's 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 either dipped or it's you know just a weird yeah. paint or a weird wrap. I, I think a lot of people nowadays too are wrapping cars. But um, I, I don't think it's bad by any means. No, it's, it's not bad. Not, I don't not think what taste, I would do. Yeah, yeah. cherry blossoms, kind of cool overall. Pretty decent yeah. um, IS300. Like you said, I'd like to see more in the rear, whether that's a diffuser or a duct Yeah, it just needs a little more because- The front's you, aggressive. Yeah, it needs to be a little it. more aggressive in the boot tay area. Oh, I'm pretty aggressive in my booty area. Ooh, that after sounded Taco wrong. Bell? Yeah, oh, especially yeah. after Taco Explosively, Bell. Explosively, you know. Whoa, this is getting personal. Okay, <laughs> let's rate the car before you dive into my browsing history. All right, three, two, one, eight. Seven. Ooh. Yeah. That's a C minus. Yeah. All right. Well, Mike, don't give a. F <laughs> <laughs> Hop if it had more done in the back, I'd totally be about it. But <laughs> booty ain't popping. So damn, we got a booty guy. All right, <laughs> hopping into the third car, we got a 1998 Mitsubishi Lancer. Oh, it's like Evo Five um, up in here. Enki RPF One's classic. classic. 17 by nine plus 35 Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s, 245, 40 all around on some RSR lowering springs. Ooh. So let's check this thing out. This is Mitsubishi. Um, some details we got, obviously on lowering springs. Let's see, it has OEM struts with the lowering springs all right. and then 20 millimeter spacers all around. Uh, performance mods, we have an Evo 9 Turbo uh, Walboro 255RC 1000cc injectors. Got a lot done so, this thing. This bitch scoots. <laughs> Hell yeah. Tile cube blow off valve, uh, Mishimoto radiator, bunch of stuff. Um, it's painted BMW Alpine white, Ooh. which is interesting. Very cool color. Definitely. Um, and then uh, Evo 7 front and rear seats. Kind of like just all the Mitsubishi's yeah. into one. Yeah, all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. One piece headlights, black line, titanium shift knob, and some good old Tomei spark plug covers, oil filled caps, and manifold heat shield. Awesome. Bunch going on in this thing. So let's check out this thing. Does I really like look white fantastic. Mitsubishis. Yeah. I think they, they look really clean. Um, I don't see too many of these older Mitsubishis, obviously, in the United States, but yeah. <laughs> this thing is just a very, very clean example. It brings me back to like the old, like, Gran Turismo 2 days yes. and it, playing and you know, this was one of my favorite cars in that game. For sure. I think the, the BMW Alpine white color was a great choice. Oh, it's yeah. just that bright white color. It doesn't really have a yellowish hue. It's no, almost not more like all. a bluish hue yeah, to it. Which yeah. I, I think it just makes the white really pop and look good. I love the wing on there. I think RPF ones, although we see them quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, it's very common. They, they work really well with this car. It, well, it, it complements it. it. it you know, I, those wheels are very, very old, like over 20 years old now. Me too. And and it just fits the era very well yeah, too. Exactly. So it's almost like period correct. Yeah, absolutely. So I really, really like that. Did you say that because it's on my sweatshirt? No, yeah, I didn't. Did. Maybe, uh, shh. Quiet. <laughs> Stop telling all my secrets. All right, but overall, I think this is a super solid car. The fitment's really good too for being yeah. on lowering springs, and that's it. Um, I think it's a super solid. Yeah, that's car. Looks, really clean. It fitment. looks dummy clean. Oh yeah, must have just been painted. You ready to rate this thing? I am. All righty. I wish we had some interior pictures, but yeah. that's okay. Oh well. Three, two, one, nine. Nine point five. Oh, we almost got a ten on yeah, the Yeah, we were really close. You almost had a ten. Really, really close. Moving Ooh. in to the Ooh. final car of the day, we have a two thousand Honda S two thousand. 
on some ESR CS 15s, 18 by 10 and a half plus 15, pretty damn aggressive. Oh yeah. On some Lexani LX6 215, 35 tires on airlift performance, air suspension. Hell yeah. So this is blunt ass Edgar. Blunt with this ass Edgar. Yeah, <laughs> Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> In his S2K. Uh, let's check out the details. So Ooh. we have stock camber arms, sits on the frame, no rubbing or scrubbing, uh, over fenders and uh, wide body trim, obviously. It's a circuit garage wide body kit. Two inch spacers in the rear. Whoa. And then it's wrapped yellow gold metallic, custom made hood vents. Let's see, we got a bunch of stuff. Skunk yeah. 2 exhaust, uh, forbidden hard top. It's forbidden. How does he have it? How did he get How it? How did he get his forbidden <laughs> hard top? All righty, let's hop into it before we get into too many of those details. Oh, Mike yeah. starts going off. Yeah, I don't want to be going off on a tangent now. So this car looks amazing. I I love this thing. It's <sighs> the one thing I would change is the headlights. I if oh. it were me. Oh, he just dives into what he hates about it. Well, no, it, I'm saying it's already <laughs> perfect in my eyes. Just it's a perfect apart, example like. of an S2K. Um, headlights, I just feel like they're the ones that you can get anywhere. Yeah. And I feel like a custom set of retrofits would really, really I think you're absolutely right there. Those pop. headlights give me like 2012 vibes yep. on like just generic, I need halo projectors. Yep. Uh, that's kind give of, me them. Yeah. <laughs> but it, other than that, the fitment's real, real nice. I know it's a little tucked all yeah. around, which See, I don't mind at all. Okay, so you're a tucked guy. I'm yep. more of a, I like it right dead I nuts. I like them both. Just whoop. I like them both. If they offer chicken and steak, I get both. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, believe that. <laughs> all right, so moving forward, I like the, the hood vents, the hard top. I yep. think it all looks good. I think it all ties in very well together. I, I would, like the wide body kit too. I like how it doesn't come all the way down. It's got that I got a wide in. body kit. Do you like me? I got one too. Yeah, we're like best friends. <laughs> oh, high five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this thing's sick. I would like to see the wheels come out a little bit further. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe get a set of wheels so then you don't got to run the big old spacer in the back. But I do yep. get it. And the, the ESRs, they do look good on here. Yeah, I think um, so. I would just like to see maybe a different set of wheels that fits a little better. Um, overall though, Solid. Yeah, very solid. solid build. I love hard tops on SUKs. And I'm not great a big pictures convertible too. guy, but yeah, me neither. Yeah, pictures are on point. Let me see. Photography by Six Six Visuals. Shout You're out making to them that look because, like a render, man. Yeah, dude, it looks like a, <laughs> it's straight out Need for Speed. Hell yeah. All righty, you ready to rate this yellow? I think I'm S2K? ready to rate the banana S2K. Banana S2K. Let's banana go. Banana S2K. Three, two, one, nine. nine. Yeah. Yep. I think a couple tweaks on it, and it would be. Spot yep, perfect. On. Exactly. Well, thank you guys for sticking around and reviewing some cars with us. Always a good time, oh, Mike. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Thank and you for having me. Yeah. And then when you get your car out of the gallery, Mike's going to check it out right away and do if you all. Don't add it to the gallery. I'll, I'll find you. There you go. Now you heard I'll it. Find you. Yeah, he'll do it too. Oh, what do you? What does that mean? Huh? Nothing. Oh, all right. Okay. So <laughs> you want your car reviewed by me or maybe even Mike? Add it to fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. It'll help other enthusiasts find their fitment oh, too yeah. when they're looking. So helps everyone out. And who knows, maybe you'll get featured on the IG page or f Facebook page. We'll be posting oh, them yeah. on there as well. So wheels, tires, suspension, fitmentindustries.com. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <coughs>